Hello, welcome to this video explaining the damage Helicobacter pylori can cause. As many symptoms, symptoms as there can be, it's important to understand that Helicobacter pylori bacteria causes ulcers and inflammation of the stomach lining. The bacterial infection can have a wide range of symptoms. The same is true for inflammatory bowel syndrome, candida yeast infections, and a host of other digestive problems. Some of the time, all of these are interconnected. Ulcers cause a burning pain in the stomach or abdominal region. This is due to these bacteria degrading the mucus layer, which protects the stomach lining and allows stomach acid to burn the stomach lining itself. Pain is often made worse when the concentration of acid in the stomach is more concentrated. This occurs after eating. Nighttime pain is also common. Helicobacter pylori often is associated with poor appetite, being hungry soon after eating, and weight loss. It's pretty confusing already. Helicobacter pylori is also associated with heartburn, belching, farting, nausea, and vomiting. In addition, it can lead to blood in the stool. These symptoms also describe many digestive problems that cannot be quantitatively identified. Medical professionals often advise medications which relieve symptoms and mask the symptoms, or we self-medicate using the wide variety of choices we have at the pharmacies. Depression and worry can set in after not being able to rid yourself of these symptoms. Stress and worry always makes conditions worse. We need confidence that we can get better in order to heal. There are many ways to decrease the pain and treat the symptoms with antacids, milk, and the many medications available. These do not cure the ulcer. The condition usually gets worse. They may allow healing for a while, making us think they are the answer. Getting rid of the bacterial infection is the only sure way. Helicobacter pylori exploits the protective mucus layer of the stomach lining. It uses the stomach's own mucus layer as its protection. It then infects deep into the stomach lining, causing acid to burn through to the muscles and possibly all the way through the lining. When our immune system determines we are infected with Helicobacter pylori, it produces antibodies which attacks the infection. Our killer T cells which protect us also try to eliminate the infection. The bacterial population, plus all of the body's protective mechanisms, cause a large number of cells to accumulate at or in the stomach lining. This causes inflammation in the stomach lining because there are just so many cells battling for survival or elimination. Gastritis is inflammation of the stomach lining. Colitis is inflammation of the colon, usually the large intestines. Crohn's disease is a continual inflammation of any part of the digestive system. Ulcerative colitis is inflammation of the large intestine and rectum. Helicobacter pylori directly causes ulcers by degrading the mucus layer of the stomach lining, allowing acid to burn through the lining. Helicobacter pylori can cause ulcers. This can lead to other problems. Our bodies get out of sync. We treat the problems with medications that do not cure the infection. Our bodies get more confused. We end up with bowel syndromes, gastritis, and lifestyle limitations. This bacterium is treatable, which you can learn about in one of our other digested videos, Helicobacter pylori bacteria. Thank you for watching this video. We made this video because this bacterial infection is serious and infects half the world's population. It's often misdiagnosed.